Hey everyone. So this is the second in my fall line and <clears throat> I did a video of the same exact bomb not too long ago. Um, this one I actually added some different products to. I've got the kale and clay in this one and I called it Bye Bye Miss American Pie which I decided was stupid. I don't know. I just didn't like it and it didn't fall in with the whole fall line thing. So I have named this Autumn in New York after the late great Billie Holiday in homage to her. So um, just trying to get this to focus. Come on baby. This one kind of blew up on me a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so I decided to use this one for the video. I always waste one bomb by doing that but that's okay. And I have a feeling this feels pretty heavy. I don't think it's gonna float but um, it should do some cool stuff. So. Anyway, here is Autumn in New York. Oh, it's pretty, and it is floating. Yay! Okay, and then it sank. Seems like they want to float for a minute and then they sink, which is fine. You can see some of the green streaks going on over there. And it's still traveling in spite of the fact that it's not floating. And we got some green that just came out there. That'll color up the water really, really pretty. It smells wonderful. It smells like apple pie. It smells so good. Look at it just travel and do its thing. So yeah, these ones have the normal ingredients and then the kale and clay, which is fabulous. This one has Epsom salts in it as well. Where are you going, dude? Now it's floating. kind of a hyperactive bomb, I think. <laughs> I wish you, I wish that scent could come through on videos because, oh my god, does this smell fabulous. Fresh apple pie. And the water is just this really pretty, pretty green. It's finally fizzing out. And it smells so good. is the Autumn in New York bomb. It looks like a heart right there, a green heart. And someone was asking me, do you get in the water, <clears throat> you know, does it stay like, like this? And the answer is no. Um, this is really, the water's really hot. I'm gonna show you the color, because it's so pretty. It's just this gorgeous green, but you end up just with normal water. And um, it's just so pretty. It's this light, gorgeous green color. And that little guy is still doing its little thing there. Isn't that pretty? But that is Autumn in New York. It smells wonderful. And it's just really peaceful and pretty to sit in this water and it's just nice. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Hey everyone. So this is me 
Now this bomb probably looks familiar because it is the same color as the vanity bomb that it was my very first bomb. And um, this one, however, is called Harvest and it smells like pumpkin spice. It's, oh my God, it smells so good. Um, I did add some colorant to this one and this one does the fuzzy foamy stuff. And I'm gonna plop this in so you can see it. These won't be for sale like this. I did this special for a friend of mine. Um, they're actually gonna be sold in sets of three and they will be actually shaped like pumpkins. So I will release that video once I'm able to do the full line. Um, I have some molds coming and that'll be this weekend that all of this will officially become available. But I wanted to put this in for now and see what it does and then I'm, um, I have some bombs that <laughs> went crazy and I finally figured out why and what the culprit is um, quite by accident but I wanted to show it because it's just funny, but we'll run, we'll run this one through first, so. Oh, how pretty. Very pretty. Wow. Now this one has some, this is orange, coral orange, but it also has some yellow colorant in it. Um, it's odd to me because I'm not using a lot of extra oils anymore and the bombs are sinking. They're not floating which kind of bums me out but um, I'm not sure if they have to dry out more thoroughly first. And I do know that when I make bombs with flat bottoms for some reason they float and I'll show you that because um, I had this crazy experience with this bomb um, I made a batch yesterday I ran out of Epsom salts and so I used dead sea salt and that is what makes the bombs go and not work so um, but they float it's bizarre so I'll show you in a second. Oh, this smells so good. It smells like somebody's kitchen who's been baking all day long. And it's wonderful. It's wonderful. And I love the color of the water. It's so pretty. And it's just really, really pretty. It should come to the top here any minute now seems to float back up when it gets a little bit lighter. We get these kind of cool bursts. There it is. Let's see if I can zoom in there. We've got some of the yellow coming out. Oh, the lighting changes when I zoom in. That's weird. Yeah, so there you go. That is um, that is the bath bomb harvest. And when I, oh, it looks like it's still going. When I get these done in the shape that I'm going to be offering them in, I will do another series of videos. I'll put it all in one video, but it won't be these long um, it won't be lo a long, torturous one like the Halloween bath bomb one was. I just think that looks really neat. Wow. I'm going to try and zoom in even more. See if we can get some focus here. Come on. There we go. Wow, pretty. And if you could smell this. Lovely. Okay, now. Here are... <laughs> They look like pancake bombs. They're bizarre. Um, this was the ones I used the Dead Sea Salt with, and I don't know if it's Dead Sea Salt in general or just this particular brand. Um, I got a huge, massive bag of this stuff months and months ago. And I, like I said, I ran out of the Epsom salts, so I went ahead and put that in, and this was the result. These are hysterical. So I'm going to... Just for the heck of it, I'm going to plop this in there 
and see what it does. Oh, see now that I, I actually love the effect. Oh my god, I really love the effect. Look at those suckers foam. That is so cool. For some reason, like I said, the flat bombs float. Now this one is um, fizzing and doing all of that, and it looks really, really beautiful. And I wish I could make the, um, you know, the sphere bombs float better, but I'm just not sure. I'm going to have to play with all of this more because I actually would love to offer this somehow. Look at the streaks of yellow coming out. That's beautiful. That is so beautiful. But I also don't want to sell them like that because they look like, you know, they look like that. Who wants to use that or try to sell that even though it ends up like this? That's incredible looking though. I'm going to give it a little poxy because it's not fully submerged. There we go. Oh, it go bye bye. And it stop. This is just really, really neat. Look at that. See, that's what I'm hoping for from the spherical bombs, but it's the flat bombs that do these amazing things. So I'm going to have to think on that. But um, the ones that I actually sell in Harvest, like I said, they are um, they're pumpkin shaped molds and they're not round. They will have a flat bottom. And it's going to be three per order, and you'll want to put all three of them in. They add up to one of the spherical bombs. And so you should get more of this kind of effect from them, but I'll run the video when, um, like I said I would. I'll run the video when they're done. Oh, it gets mad at me and it takes off. These are beautiful. Okay. Well, I'm going to sign out, and I'll post this because it's a, at least it's pretty to watch. And then we'll see what happens when I um, uh, make the actual bombs in the molds. Because these are neat. I'm wondering if it's if the Dead Sea Salts has an effect, but the whole thing is, I, I'm thinking maybe Epsom salts are heavier, and I don't have to use Epsom salts in my bombs, but I like to because they have such a wonderful therapeutic effect. All right, well, I'm going to sign off. Thank you very much for watching my Harvest bath bomb debut. Just close your eyes and smell pumpkin and um, just imagine luxuriating in this, which I'm about to do. Okay, bye.